Okay. And then try to get down. Okay. So right over here, uh, obviously, who's using more energy? On that side, me. But I want to give you one way. So that you can go ahead and so shoot. I, and so I can better. shoot it to a single or a double. Okay. So this is a different mentality right over here. So you're jiu jitsu guy, right? Yeah. So before submission, what do you need? Position. So the same exact thing happens over here inside the clinch. So right over here, my, a, a good clinch, like I wanted to entry, this is a little trick or a little, I don't say it's a little trick, but a lot of people don't know that. Like taking this like hook right over here, everyone thinks that the tie clinch is, everyone sees this when they go with hand, hand, and then they're basically pulling straight down. Okay, it's actually gonna be a lot stronger. If I'm gonna go ahead, if I'm working in, me shooting in, and you can see that if his body is split in half, I'm actually taking this elbow and I'm basically cutting his body. So as I'm shooting in, if I'm grabbing, why do you think that's gonna be important? so that he's not able to kind of move in towards me. Oh, okay. Yeah, because right over here, if I have it on the outside, what do you think he's going to do if he's a good wrestler or any good? He's just going to pop. You know, order. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to do is I'm basically popping my elbow, and at the same time, I'm taking this to kind of hook his head to kind of pull. As I pull, okay, everyone thinks that the head is just straight down. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to crush him. But over here, I'm trying to roll his head. See how I'm rolling it to the side? Gable grip, and then I'm gonna go ahead and push straight down, and I put my body weight. From this point, everyone says, oh, well, he's gonna go ahead and shoot. Well, that's just depending on who you're training with. A person that's gonna go ahead, I already know that he's gonna shoot, like say he's gonna go ahead and shoot down low. You guys are, are good grapplers where that if you do shoot, decide to shoot, like you shoot down to my leg, you know that you can block with that hand. So I still have control, but I'm looking to kind of still I'm basically trying to get his spine out of alignment so that he can't, it's gonna be harder for him to kind of push. So same thing if you're on the ground, if somebody's trying to crawl up on your body, you're taking their head, like where that man bun is, and pushing it straight through, it's gonna be hard for them to get in. So as I'm locking up with that clinch, okay? Now, if I get any type of position, you're trying to move. So you're trying to escape, I'm just gonna stay still. So right over here, this hip, that's what we're doing. Boom, we're basically taking short knees. Boom, and then he's gonna block it. So what do you think you're gonna be doing anyways? I'm still trying to work. I'm obviously doing different things. He's trying to obviously escape out of it, right? Boom, right over here, boom. This is when you've got all kinds of things that are opened up. Every time that the hip pops out, somebody should be needing. Yeah. But if you have the mentality, and that's what I'm asking you, like what is your fight strategy, what is your game? What is the mentality behind it? Like, am I taking the center because Oh, everyone says take the center, or am I taking the center to control it? 